Hey, good morning guys. We've got another day here of working on our Project Frontier. Um, two goals for today. Um, hopefully get one of them accomplished because I always seem to set goals that are bigger than what uh, I can get done in a day. But we want to get the turbos mounted up today. Um, we've got our pair of Borg Warner turbos that we're going to mount to this thing. Um, as you can see, we've got another different set of manifolds on the motor today. Um, these are stock LS3 manifolds that would have come like on a GM Performance Park crate motor. I believe they're the same as like a fifth gen Camaro or a Caprice or an SS. Uh, I'm not 100% positive though. Um, I couldn't find a part number on them. But the plan right now is to actually cut off the flanges that you see on these manifolds, weld on some Schedule 10 elbows, and then go directly to a T4 flange for our turbo setup. So that's the plan for the uh, turbos and then if we have time and I'd also like to start throwing the accessories on this motor we're actually going to run a modified version of our 350z accessory drive kit so that we can keep air conditioning in this truck with a factory Nissan AC compressor that will match the rest of the AC components in the truck uh, so that's the plan right now thanks so much for tuning in and we'll get right into the video
All right, so today we finished up getting the turbos mounted on this LS Swap Frontier. Uh, we've got a pair of Borg Warner turbos that we've mounted on this thing, actually using modified OEM GM manifolds. So I think I said in the beginning of this video, not sure what application these manifolds are from, but they ended up working out perfect for getting those turbos mounted. Um, what we ended up doing was cutting off the factory flange and actually cutting the manifold at a bit of an angle um, so that we could weld some two and a half schedule 10 piping to the end of the manifold. What I had to do is actually heat the schedule 10 piping to kind of bend it to more of an oval shape where it met the manifold since where we cut the manifold it wasn't a perfect round shape uh, but we were able to do that pretty easily actually heating up the schedule 10 with the TIG torque itself and then just using a hammer to bend it into shape before welding uh, came out really good. Uh, we got the turbos mounted as you can see here I'm very happy with how they're laying out on the truck. Um, it's given us plenty of room to run our down pipes off the back of the turbos, over the manifolds, and down behind uh, behind the motor and out the sides. Uh, we want to run like a side pipe exhaust on this thing, so it'll work out perfect uh, in that regard. Uh, we do still need to mount our wastegates to the manifolds, uh, but we were getting the accessories laid out on the motor to see where some stuff is going to lay in the engine bay before deciding where to put the wastegates to make sure we can get dump tubes out. I would actually like to recirculate the wastegates back into the exhaust if possible. So the plan right now is to mount the wastegates um, off the front of the manifolds um, below them so that the exhaust goes under the manifolds from the wastegates and the exhaust from the turbos is over the manifolds and then uh, behind the manifolds below the motor we can actually make them merge back together. Um, we did mount the power steering pump so that we can see where the uh, turbo would lay out on the passenger side as far as clearing the power steering pump, giving clearance for the belt and all that kind of stuff, the pulley, just make sure that the spacing would still work. We've got enough room that we don't have any heat issues there. Um, the accessories that we're running on this motor are actually our 350Z swap kit accessories. So the power steering pump for a 350Z and a Frontier actually flow roughly the same amount and very close in pressure as well. It's kind of common across a lot of Nissan vehicles, especially since they're both rack and pinion setups. So um, that's gonna work out great for us. We can use the Frontier alternator with our 350Z accessory drive or 350Z alternator. Uh, the only difference is the Frontier is a seven rib and the 350Z is a six rib, but uh, depending which alternator I find laying around the shop, that's the one that we're gonna use. Um, we also mounted a 350Z AC compressor and did that intentionally because the Frontier AC compressor is driven on the same belt as all the other accessories. So there's one seven rib belt that drives everything. Whereas on 350Zs and G35s, at least the non HR cars have a separate belt for the accessories and the AC compressor. So the power steering pump and alternator on one belt, AC compressor is on another belt. There's six rib and four rib, just like an LS. So it's much easier to design the accessory setup to work out. Plus I already have an AC bracket for that compressor. Um, it's the same thing I did when I swapped an Xterra a couple years ago. So um, what you can actually do is just bend the ends of the Xterra hoses so that, or in this case the Frontier hoses, so that they're at a different angle and orientation, but the port size and all is the same as the 350Z. So you can use the factory AC hoses from this truck with the 350Z compressor and then um, all the factory plumbing works. So we've even got the AC line from the Frontier installed right now. It goes nicely around the manifold and turbo. We'll be able to tuck the downpipe uh, below the AC line and out the side on that side as well. And the same deal with the wastegate dump tube will go under the manifold on that side. Um, so it's going to work out really well. Uh, very happy with how everything's laying out at this point. Um, going to start trying to get the rest of the accessories on the motor and also want to start on the fuel system and getting new brake lines made before we jump into any more turbo plumbing on this thing. Um, but we're getting close. Uh, once the fuel system's done, the brake lines are done, and the exhaust type stuff is done, we'll start putting a harness and ECU and all on this thing as well. So it's coming together really well. I'm very happy with the way everything's turning out. Uh, the plan is for three inch exhaust, uh, three inch downpipes off of each turbo. We'll wrap them. We've got plenty of room for me to either use a factory holly hat on this manifold or to design my own top still haven't decided which route i'm going to go i'd still like to design my own but we'll see uh, we'll see which route we end up going thanks so much for for tuning in please like subscribe follow us here please share this video series with your friends 
Uh, you know, if you find it interesting, hopefully they would too. We appreciate you guys tuning in so much. Thanks for watching. God bless.